Hello dear students. So today we are going to see output devices. So by using output devices computer conveys information to user. So it is just uh, the opposite of input devices uh, which we have learnt in our previous videos. Okay. So we are going to learn two output devices today visual display unit and printers. So first we are going to see what is visual display unit. So a visual display unit in short it is known as VDU okay visual display unit it is uh, similar to a TV screen okay and it displays both text and graphics you all must have seen the monitor okay yes so the third point which is important VDU is also known as the monitor okay now text or graphics which are shown on the monitor is also called soft copy okay now this is very important to remember what is called soft copy so whatever you are watching on the screen that is known as soft copy so text or graphics which are shown on the monitor is called soft copy now the last point uh, the size of the monitors so it uh, typically ranges from 8 to 21 inch it ranges from 8 to 21 inch okay now we are going to see about printers. printers so printers have been till date the most popular output device and why they are used printers produce printed output of results okay uh, so it converts soft copies into hard copies now we we are cleared about both the things what are called soft copy and what are called hard copy in our previous video okay so here printed output is called hard copy all right now uh, printers are classified into two categories one is impact and the second one is non-impact now first we are going to focus on impact printers okay so what are called impact printers so impact printers print by impact by getting in touch with the paper okay by contacting the paper that is why they are known as impact printers okay so here print head it gets in touch with the target medium okay it presses an ink ribbon to the target medium and that's why the printing happens okay uh, these printers are probably slow they are noisy they produce poor uh, quality outputs okay and we are going to study about three impact printers dot matrix daisy wheel and line printers we are not going in detail with all these three but uh, some important points which you uh, must know are we are going to uh, look at okay first dot matrix printer so these printers are the cheapest okay low cost and they produce lowest quality output then after daisy wheel printers so in this only few points you have to remember uh, they use a technology which was invented in 1969 by davis lee at diablo da uh, data systems okay this is just for, just for the information you don't have to remember this thing in 1980s they were popular for high quality printouts then third one line printer so they are able to print an entire line at once okay and they can print 600 to 1200 lines per minute now we are going to see non-impact printers okay so uh, in opposite to what we have learned in impact printers this non-impact printers will work without getting in touch with the target medium okay so here i have stated printers that print without impact or without getting in contact with the paper are called non-impact printers okay now in contrast with the impact printers they were noisy here uh, non-impact printers are quieter then they don't physically strike the page as its name suggests us then the examples are bubble jet and inkjet and laser printers okay 
so here we are going to see uh, bubble jet and inkjet printers first so they work similar to a uh, dot matrix matrix printer here you are watching a video right here you can see that uh, uh, instead of pressing dry ink the print head sprays drops of liquid ink onto the page right and this is how uh, this printers work see print head sprays drops of liquid ink onto the page okay they provide better image quality and faster than dot matrix printer okay but they get blurred when they get wet now we'll see about laser printers so this works similar to photocopier now laser is used to remove the charge from portions of the roller okay here you are watching a roller which is charged with electricity okay now powdered ink sticks to the parts of the roller that were hit by the laser which is then transferred from roller to the paper now this powdered ink which is stuck onto the roller is uh, you can see the black particles black portion that is the powder ink and after that it, it is transferred onto the paper so this is how laser printer works okay now they provide very high quality output and this ink can be baked into the paper using a heater all right so this is all about types of printers and we also have learned about vdu visual display unit. okay so students i hope you all understood it very clearly and thank you for watching this video we'll meet next time till then stay home and stay safe and study well bye everyone